Art has definitely helped shape my identity. I depict black figures. I would say it borders surrealism in a sense. Ultimately, it's just like the celebration of a portrait of a black person and exploring a world that is a little more than the world that we're already set in. So growing up, I was always into art, but I didn't quite know that there was a way to become a professional artist. I don't think it clicked until I was in high school, like until I found the internet, and I was like able to be exposed to just like a broader range of artists. Like I got to see that there wasn't just one way to be a professional artist. I still consider myself an artist, but I prefer the term image maker because it's like an umbrella term for me. Through image making, I'm like making paintings, I'm making drawings. I am making photos, like either I'm standing in front of the camera or I'm on the other end. Creative directing, I feel like that all is just like image making in a sense. There's more to say than just like being an artist. When I'm making images and the focus of my images are black people, I find it really important to just represent a broad spectrum because black people, we come in so many different colors, shapes, like features. And you know, it's like black people have different undertones. Like we can be the same shade, but like we can have very different undertones in our skin that like the way light reflects off our skin looks a little different. Part of me representing that is really fun because I just love color. There's endless color combinations to make, like representing black skin. I really want any black person to look at it and be like, oh, this is speaking to me because this looks like someone I know. Like this looks like my friend or my cousin or my aunt or like, you know, like you can look at it and it can be like a reflection and a celebration of something that is really like true to your life. And also it just gives like a window into another world to like imagine outside of just what this reality is. But like to see yourself in that too, like to be included in that world that's like separate, but that's also like, you know, expanding outside of this world. Thanks to my grandma, I was exposed to black art just through like books she kept in the house or like paintings and prints of like black painters. But like once I stepped out of my grandma's house, it wasn't always the case, you know? So I was like, okay, I don't really see the same kind of art and like textbooks in my school. I'm not really learning about that in the curriculum or like not a lot of it is happening on TV. So I'm like, you know, there needs to be that introduction. I feel like earlier on, and I mean, it's happening now, but I think it's very important for it to happen early on for black kids everywhere to just know that they're included. I grew into my queer identity um, thanks to New York <laughs> and thanks to the internet and Tumblr and all of the discourse that I found online. <laughs> like that really helped. I got to experiment a lot with my style and then also learning terms in academia like because I really wasn't super aware that there was such a broad spectrum of gender. I have queer people in my family and I know queer people. They like to be perceived a certain way, but like it, there's like, sometime in the black community, I feel like there's like, and it's not a bad thing, but there's like a limitation with like language. And I was like reading a lot of things and I was like, whoa, like you don't have to be either or. You can be exempt from the binary in a way where you don't have to like feel like you have to adhere to certain social constructs or like social norms in a sense. It was confusing for me at first. I felt it, but I didn't really know how to like verbalize it at first. Over the years, I've just found myself way more comfortable being open to like a whole spectrum of what there is to be perceived as, I guess. And I can't like move in a way where I'm like not fully expressing who I am because like as someone who makes art too, there's so much more of an ease when I can be true to myself, I can have a way to be like true to when I'm making something. When I was first starting just making a lot of portraits and just doing a lot of faces, they were like genderless to me too. And this was before I even was really interrogating my own 
gender identity. I was like, you know, I want to really make these genderless figures that anyone can kind of look at and just be like, okay, I resonate with this in some sense. I would feel it was necessary to kind of like want to include that genderless identity because it really helped like a broader like representation. If there's like something depicted that's a little more romantic, it's just not like a hetero romantic couple. People of different identities can kind of engage with it in a way where it doesn't necessarily have to be a queer image, but it like speaks to that audience still too. Yeah, something about, I don't know, something about making art really does help with like exploring gender identity. A personal goal is to just continue expanding on the world I'm building with my art and image making in all forms. I'm really excited to take these drawings and paintings and just like really bring a whole new life to them. I've started doing a wearable collection, designing garments, screen printing, animation, all types of moving image, other like realms of creative direction. So I'm really excited to just continue expanding on this world that I've been building.